scalp problems. It's probably something we've all gone through at some point. I've had eczema since I was a baby, so just especially around my hairline and around my ears, like just that area can get very inflamed and aggravated. And I think we've seen a lot of the common ingredients around. Those include zinc pyrithia and zinc pyrithione, <laughs> excuse my pronunciation, selenium sulfide, pyroxone olamine, ketoconazole, salicylic acid, and a coal tar solution. But if you've tried them all, I highly, highly recommend that you maybe give urea a shot. I've spoken about urea quite often in the context of like topical skincare for the face and how it has a highly moisturizing effect, but at certain percentages, it can also exhibit like a keratolytic effect as well, basically exfoliating. And this of course makes sense for scalp care too. Now I'm not saying that urea is in any way better than the ingredients that I've mentioned before. A lot of those have a much more targeted action where they fall into like a drug category. This is more around like general care around that or if maybe you just haven't had luck with those ingredients This is something to explore as an alternative or something to even use with them If you just want to reduce using the other ones for other reasons Sometimes just cosmetic ones like scent the product I personally use the most is called Eurelia gel This basically feels like a very standard gel cleanser texture like you use as a face cleanser but also happens to function well as a body wash and also a scalp shampoo. This does a great job at soothing my scalp and I kind of think of it like a hydrating serum, but for my head. One comment I'll make is that if I use this too often, like too many days in a row, it can make my actual hair feel a bit more straw-like. So I don't think this replaces general hair care. It's just, again, more of an added product as like a scalp product specifically. I tend to use it mainly when my scalp is playing up, maybe for a couple days, then I use regular shampoo around that. Another option is a scalp shampoo from an Australian brand called Dermal Therapy. I'm not sure if this is available internationally. It's called the Scalp Relief Shampoo and Conditioner. This combines a bit of a lower percentage of urea. I think it's at 2% with collodial oatmeal, but it also has pyroctone olamine. So this is a little bit of a cheat because it's like a combined product where you've got urea and one of the like antifungal ingredients. But they've also added amodimethicone, which is a popular conditioning ingredient. So this trifecta is actually a very excellent combination. This sits more in the classic shampoo territory that is quite sensorial and pleasant to use, but also has a great conditioning effect. So they blended these ingredients really well. If you just happen to spot this at like Chemist Warehouse or Priceline, very much worth just grabbing on the shelf. It's on sale quite regularly and just affordable even at full price. I've also seen that Eucerin has a product called Dermo Capillaire. This one I haven't personally used, but it seems to be a great option that does focus on urea and it's just reputation with reviews and stuff seems to be quite good online. This one seems to be a good one to explore if you have a particularly sensitive scalp. My main problem with the other ingredients that I sort of started with in the video is that a lot of them have a weird smell and it kind of lingers. So when I wash my hair using them, it just, it just has a smell and I prefer not to use that if I don't have to. The only exception to that is maybe salicylic acid, but I don't find salicylic acid as effective as urea at actually calming my scalp. And some of the shampoos that have those antifungal ingredients often use masking scents, but the fragrances that they use aren't that nice. So again, it's just not a great experience. Keep in mind that urea is not tackling actual fungal causes of like scalp issues and dandruff. So just to reiterate, I'm not suggesting this is a replacement for those ingredients. It's just more so an add-on, an alternative to use at different points in the week. Or maybe if the issues with your scalp aren't necessarily fungal related and you just need some help with like hydration, moisturizing, you know, that area. This video is mainly just trying to introduce urea as an option, kind of throwing it in the mix because I love to have like a skincare wardrobe in every part of my routine. There is one other scalp product that I really enjoy that's not focused on urea, but I'll just throw it in this video anyway. It's the it's the hair cleansing cream from a brand called Galane. This is like a microbiome support serum, but again for your head in a cleansing cream format, very much like a cream cleanser for your face. And although I think this is marketed as being an alternative to a shampoo, the texture is very creamy. So I actually consider it more of a conditioner, but specifically a scalp conditioner. So I would use a shampoo, then apply the Galane, 
they kind of focused on the scalp area. And then if I needed to actually use a proper conditioner, I would throw that, throw that on at the end after the Galané. This uses lactic acid amongst a medley of other ingredients to create just harmony and balance in the scalp. And that in turn should lead to better hair quality. That's the end of this video. I hope it was useful in some way. If you haven't heard of Urea as a product that could be suitable for scalp issues, um, let me know if you've got any questions and I'll do my best to answer them and I'll see you in the next video.